So guys, welcome back to another episode of the Ronaldinho to Glory series and well, things have taken an interesting turn for us as I'm grinding through for champions for the La Liga team of the season. Our record as you guys can see on the screen is 15 to 3. Not bad, we can definitely hit elite this week but it's it's a mess man. For champions right now, it is just so difficult, like everybody's sweating it out to get the best rewards possible. And it's been a struggle. So Yunku, we had in, in the team for the first 18 games or so. He's now not performing for me. It's the... I don't even know what's about him. He's decent, but uh, I don't know. I, so I've got this Lucas Hernandez in the club for a long time. So I'm just going to be using him instead. I just put Lucas in here and it just works out perfectly. So Alisson is off game, but the thing is he does end up getting 99 on every stat anyway. So it doesn't really matter. So this is how the updated team looks for the Dino to Glory series. Now, in this episode, some really cool things are about to happen. So EA just dropped a Player Moments Ansu Fati SPC, which is outrageous. I mean, look at the state of this card. It looks insane. And you guys know how much I love Ansu Fati. He's one of my favorite players right now for Barcelona. I'm a Barca fan, of course. We're going to 100% do this SPC in today's episode, get him into our team, probably use him as a super sub first in for champs and maybe, you know, find a way to fit him in the team at some point. But yep, we're definitely getting him. So I haven't really started working towards Regulon and the other players that are available in objectives. I am not too concerned with Mariano, but I do want this Regulon card because he looks obscenely good. So on stream, maybe I'll try and grind towards it. By the way, I'm back streaming on Twitch again. These Foot Champs games that you guys probably won't see like every one of them, but most of them will be on Twitch live. So yeah, come check out my Twitch live stream. I'll be grinding these objectives over there as well. If you guys are enjoying the Ronaldinho to Glory series, keep the support coming in. Today, we're going to have the Ansu Fati SBC. More games, Foot Champions games. I know you guys have been asking to see more gameplay. So I'll try and fit in maybe two or three Foot Champs games for you guys today. So... That's the plan. But yeah, if you're enjoying the series, drop a like, subscribe if you're new around here and let's get this one underway. All right, guys, I've managed to complete the first squad for the Ansu Fati SBC. It did cost me a bit, but I had most of the players in the club using this Santi Cazorla card because he's already got a team of the season and I don't really anticipate on using him. So submitting the squad, we're going to get a few packs back. But yep, there you go. That is one squad done for Ansu Fati. Let's now get the other squad done. Before that, let's actually open this Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. You never know. A Team of the Season card might just pop out of one of these. So, let's see what we get in this one. Please be aboard. Nope, it's going to be no one. There you go. Um, it's going to be a rare player at the very least. Cesc Fabregas would have been a good player to pack six years ago, but not now. So after spending a lot of time trying to complete these SBCs, I've finally done the La Liga challenge for Ansu Fati. It's complete. This is what I'm submitting. I packed in Edison a few days ago in one of those Premier League upgrade packs. So it's now coming to good use. We're going to submit this. And well, Ansu Fati is now in the club. 89 rated, man. His stats look insane. But first... There you go, it's completed. Under 23 player moments, Ansu Fati. I think they gave him this one for like being like, you know, a breakthrough player or something. But who cares, man? This card looks unbelievable. 96 pace, 88 shooting, 85 passing, and crazy good dribbling. We'll take a detailed look at the stats, but here we go. He's walking out, left wing, Spanish, Barcelona. Now, because that we've got now Ansu Fati in the club, I kind of want to pick up some La Liga team of the season cards, like maybe that De Jong card to fit him in the team. But yeah, I'm glad we've now got him. Let's go, boys. Ansu Fati is in the club. Look at those stats, man. Wow. 99 agility and balance. 92 dribbling. The composure is there. 96 jumping for some reason. I know he scored a header against Bilbao in one of the games in La Liga, but fair enough. Long shots, finishing, everything's there. This card looks superb. I'm probably going to use him as a super sub this weekend. And we'll try and fit him in next weekend in the main team. That's the plan. Oh, we've got a pack here to open as well. Prime Mixed Players Pack from the Ansu Fati SPC. If this can pay out, man, that'll be sick. Let's see what we get in this one. Nope, it's not going to pay out. Another terrible pack. So I've put Ansu Fati on the bench. I'm probably going to use him as a super sub for Aguero. Rashford will go up top as a striker. Aguero out and Ansu plays on the left. That could be the game plan for me. But yeah, I'm, I'm so happy that we've got him in the team right now. And let's grind for champs now. 15 and 3 right now. We're going for elite. Um, so yeah, I bottled elite. I hate saying it, but yep, that actually happened. And the primary catalyst for it to happen was I decided to stream my foot champs games. I don't know what gave me the idea to do that. My internet started working fine, so I thought, you know what? Let's stream my foot champions games. And well, I guess the pressure got to me. The chat was super toxic as well. And I completely bottled it. I was 17 and 3 at one point in foot champs. 
That was like a prime position to finish a lead, but guess what? I bottled from there. I kept losing game after game after game. The chat got to me. It was such a toxic environment on stream during foot champs, and that is how this game mode actually is. I should have known better, and I completely bottled it. So, yep, we only managed to finish gold one. First things first, I do want to apologize for how I behaved on stream last night. It's, it's not acceptable. Like, I was too toxic. That's not the kind of person I want to be. That's not the kind of content creator I want to be. I don't want to be toxic. Like, last night I received a message from a viewer saying that, you know, my videos being positive helped them out through their struggles. And I was like, damn, man, I can't be negative. I can't be negative. So negative, at least, during for champs on stream. I just don't want to be a person like that. So, yep, I'm going to try and change. I'm going to try and be more calm when I'm playing my for champs games. And if that means not streaming it, I might just do that because I'm anyway getting better results while not streaming it. Last week, I didn't stream my weekend league games. And, well, what happened? I finished the lead. This week, I streamed my games. Loss after loss after loss. It's It can't be a coincidence. I'm not used to, you know playing my foot champs games on stream i was actually getting stream sniped can you believe it guys i'm irrelevant i'm an irrelevant youtuber i don't even have a big audience and yet guess what i'm getting stream sniped so this is such a toxic game mode and i don't want to stream it because it's it's just awful so anyways we bottled elite because of it i really wanted to get you guys elite rewards man but it just wasn't to be so anyways so we've got three games in this video that i'm going to show you guys the gameplay in the background all three difficult opponents we just needed a couple of wins to secure gold, one rewards, which actually gets us two red picks, in which we could get a team of the season, Messi. I would love that, absolutely would love that, so I'm hoping that happens. So, gold, one rewards aren't bad at all, we could definitely pull something big in them. So, our first game was against the guy who had a red 97 Messi, and I was like, not again. I'm gonna get battered, aren't I? But I did play really well against him, and also you would have seen at the start, I made a few changes to my team. One thing is... Patrick Vieira, time to get lost. Goodbye, Patrick. You're gone. I've put him on the bench because he's not good enough for the current meta anymore. So I decided to bring on Wayne Rooney for him. And now my midfield is all English. Rooney and Dean Henderson. Dean Henderson, Jordan Henderson. They are so good together and I'm really happy with them. So I think that's how things are going to be. And also another talking point. Ansu Fati now being as a player that's available to us. I'm genuinely considering selling Marcus Rashford, having Ansu Fati on the left. And maybe bringing team of the season De Jong. Let me know if you guys think that's a good idea. Anyways, this first game ends in a 6-2 win for me. I'm finally playing good FIFA at this point because I was playing horrendous before this. I had lost like four consecutive games. I'm not even kidding. I went on like a three or four consecutive loss streak. And it was genuinely grinding my gears, man. Foot Champs does that to you. This next game though was probably my most frustrating game of the weekend. Because this guy was so much better than me. I couldn't even compete. So... Yep, he's got Mbappe, he's got Neymar, he's got all the usuals. Team of the season, Mares. His first goal was a really good one, can't even complain. Can I just say Neymar is just so annoying to play this year? Like, trust me, man, I hate playing against Neymar. So yeah, this guy completely ripped me apart in the first half itself. I just decided to rage quit. I just needed one more win. I had like three or four games left regardless. So, yep, I rage quit against this guy and I took the L. So, yeah, this weekend was definitely a learning experience. I can't stream for champions unless I'm confident that i can get the job done under pressure but yeah that's 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 kind of how i'm feeling right now we got battered by this guy i know you guys want to see live commentary for these foot champs games but trust me man it's not easy it really isn't easy so yeah we we of course lost this game moving on to the next game though i really just wanted to get the win and get out of here get done with foot champs for the weekend we're on 19 wins with three games to go all we need is one win and guess what we come up against another super team now this guy's team was just Utterly ridiculous, man. Red Mbappe, Red Ben Yedda, he's got Sergio Ramos, Messi. And also, can I just say, does everyone have super teams at this point? Foot Champs is not fun like this, man. But we finally clutched up against this dude with a really scrappy goal, I should say. But goal is a goal, nevertheless. Aguero clutched up for us in this game. We scored first. And then what happened was, he literally scored straight from kickoff. So, yeah, that was annoying. But... One thing I'll say, this weekend was probably the hardest weekend I've had in for Champions and I definitely want to make some big changes to my team because I think I know where the weaknesses lie. First of all, Patrick Vieira, I feel, isn't good enough anymore. We got to get rid of him. I'm not too confident with even Wayne Rooney. Maybe bringing in Team of the Season De Jong, as I said, could be an option. But yeah, a lot of changes coming to my main team, that's for sure, in this series. And apart from that, I'm not too sure. Also, look at this goal. Look at this goal. This was such a dodgy goal. I'll take it though. We got our gold one secured because of this. And with that, 
the gameplay for today is done. I know it's a bit of a different episode with me doing a post -com over the gameplay and all, but I couldn't record this live because it was such a clutch moment. I had to get the job done, get goal one secured, so I decided, you know, Monday morning, 5 a.m., play the games, get it done, record the commentary over it, just talk over it, and just, you know, have a chill chat with you guys about Foot Champs. Let me know how you guys have been playing Foot Champs. Like, how, where are you finishing? What's going on with you guys? Because I'd love to know because am I the only one that's struggling and wants to, you know, break my controller? Like, I just, seriously, man, during the live stream, I was so toxic, and I just don't want to be like that. And also to the guy who stream sniped me, I kind of want to apologize for, you know, being really rude to you i guess that's that's kind of what i want to say but to be fair you did try and stream snipe me so i guess it was warranted but yeah as i'm talking about de Jong, i already have like a red de Jong in the club so for now we could use him but definitely considering selling marcus rashford now because i don't feel like he's that good to warrant being in the team for that price we could get a lot out of him we could like sell rashford bring tots de Jong, and that's kind of the play i'm feeling right now because that ansu fati card trust me it is ridiculous but with that the episodes come to a close. It was a big one for us. Gold one secured. Ansu Fati unlocked. Next episode, we'll try and unlock Regulon and, you know, maybe open the Foot Champs rewards and hopefully pack Red Messi. But for now, that's it for today. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time.